Yeah, so, yeah, you. yeah, please. That's like the two of us working together. Yeah, That's yeah. our channel. Um, but yeah, it's really, really difficult to build up a, a subscriber base. People think it's easy and I get weekly emails from people or messages saying like, oh yeah, I'm coming to China, I like your videos, I'm coming to China, I'm going to start my own channel and... Please you know, do, but... Yeah, the thing is like, I, I understand people think it's easy. Yeah. You know, because they see, oh, I've got a channel, I've got like, whatever, 40 something thousand subscribers. They don't realize that six years of oh my really... Gosh. More seven yeah. years of really like every week releasing videos. People don't every understand. week networking, learning Chinese, yeah. living here and doing it, yeah. actually producing the content, editing for fuck's sake. You have yeah. no idea yeah. how long it takes to edit these videos. Yeah, and for 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 like only recently I get a little bit of ad revenue, and it's not worth no. it. It's like like I said, I could just work a couple of hours yeah. teaching kindergarten if I wanted to, and I'd make more than I do in like months of YouTube. So I think we should do a truth telling. Yeah. I make, no joke, no joke, $100 a month from your videos, from your views on my videos. $100 a month. That is nothing, so this is not why I'm doing this. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I've, I've got 42,000 subscribers, 8.5 million views, maybe more now, and I earn, uh, what is 2,800 Hong Kong dollars in, in dollars? It's about 400. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. That's nothing. It's, it's, we don't it's make weird. anything from this <laughs> shit, guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. No. It's it's all about passion, and you know, passion does dry out. But you know, the thing is, for me, YouTube has become a defining part of my life, and sure, it's always sure. going to be there. I'm not going to stop ever. But it's difficult, and you know, it's it's really difficult not to just like eh, give it a break for a while and carry right. on with your normal life for like a couple of weeks. I, I'm months. guilty of that. It's tough. You yeah, know? yeah, it's tough. But mm. Hopefully. Uh, you know, we keep this going and we keep doing this because, you know what, at the end of the day, we can tally up all the money we made from it, but we can go back and look at these videos and show our grandkids, yeah, you know. It's a legacy. Yeah. yeah, we'll probably be so embarrassed by it. The thing is, like, yeah, we will, of course, but it's like, look at grand, granddad drinking this disgusting <laughs> video on a couch. Anyway, yeah. the thing is, like, 6,000 subscribers, nothing to scoff at. Um, no, no. You know, it took me years and years, much longer than, than you've been doing this to ever reach that stage. So. No, 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 man, I'm at four well, years now. Yeah. Four years, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. You guys slow down. You guys slow down. All right. Um, <laughs> Good to hear, yeah. Is this a thing? Okay. I don't know. Next, uh, snarky white guy. Um, number one, I want to say congratulations, snarky, on your viral video about Walmart. Appreciate that. That was that was great. Um, you posted a comment that said, "I just realized that Sea Milk almost has almost no eyebrows." Um, I was gonna think of something comedic to come back with for that comment. But actually, I'm just going to tell a story. Okay. When I was four years old, I was at my babysitter, and her name was Roseanne, I think. Or is that a TV show? Yeah, that's okay. a TV show. <laughs> yeah. um, Rosemary or something, something of the rose variety. And uh, I would go there, and there was this kid named Nick. And this little dick, yeah. Nick the dick, he used to go to me and point out, and he'd say, no eyebrow boy, no eyebrow boy. And I would get so butt hurt and upset because he's two years older. I mean, he's six, right? And four. Oh, yeah. Still remember this. I used to take this little fake chicken leg out of the girl's cooking set, and I used to go pew pew and like shoot him because okay. I was right. so right. angry. Right. But then I would go and cry <laughs> under the table because I didn't want to be called no eyebrow boy. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this despicable affliction has followed me throughout my life. And uh, I never still... noticed that before. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like looks like you got eyebrows to me. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no, I've never ever Thank thought you. that you don't have eyebrows. But yeah, now you mentioned it, Snarky. Snark. I can see that. Listen, <laughs> I feel like you owe me a Spengo's pizza. <laughs> okay, you owe me some credits for some of your names for your videos. <laughs> Actually, you know what, Snark? This is not this is not lignant at all. Not malicious at all, but. I think it's kind of funny that you've taken a lot of inspiration from the other China vloggers, and uh, I th actually think it's kind of flattering. I really oh, appreciate absolutely, that. Absolutely. Um, it's kind of cool to go through your videos sometimes and see that some of our ideas were kind of used again, and that was. I think it's cool. We're bringing a wider audience to some other people. Sure. That's nice. So I appreciate that. It's kind of entertaining. A little bit of credit. A little bit of credit. A little bit of credit. Next time, a little yeah. credit. Yeah. yeah. I, I've got a, a babysitter um, story. Do you? Uh, do. Please and share. 
It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess it's not embarrassing because I was a little kid. I, I can't remember how old I was, but I was probably like six, seven, eight, nine, somewhere around that, like, you know, young age. And at that time, it was very popular to, popular to read, like, war comics. Okay. You know, war annuals and journals. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, you know, like, um, you know, there was, a, there was this kind of period in history where you'd w read all these, like, war comics. <laughs> okay. And it'd be like, <laughs> right. but World War Two, right? So you'd always yeah. have, like, the, the, the Tommies and the Jerrys and the, you sure. know, whatever, and it'd have, like, the, basically the Americans and British fighting against the Nazis, and it's, it's something you would always read, and they're, they're like, full-on, you get, like, every year at Christmas, you get, like, a war annual. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and right. you get like the Beano annual where you have like Dennis the Menace and stuff and then you get like the war annuals but I think it was kind of like maybe it's because some of my friends parents had kept these or something. anyway they were always so when I was a young kid they were always like around like and you right. read these like cool like and they'd be fi spit fires and okay. you know this kind of thing fair enough and so we had this thing where our school and I was really young and our school asked us to draw a a country's flag. Okay. Okay. okay so, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, wait, wait. So we had this this ba babysitter over that used to watch me when my parents had had the, like date night on Thursdays. And so they like draw a flag. So I'm like, fuck yeah! And I take my wardrobe, and I copy a swash stick, and I'm like coloring it in and everything. And I, I showed it to my babysitter because that's what you do when you're yeah. kids. Like, look at that, you know? Yeah, yeah. And she's like horrified. And she's like. Do you know what this red represents? It represents the blood of the Jews. And she was like, I was like a little kid. I'm like, what is she going on about? I have no idea. I'm like, okay, thank you. Took it back, still handed it in the next day. It turns out she's Jewish. Oh, <laughs> snap. Yeah. Oh, anyway. man. How old were you? Like I said, six, seven, eight, nine, somewhere around right. there. I don't know. It was definitely before I was 10. 23. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, but I mean, I, I just thought it was pretty. pretty that's fun. pretty hilarious. Yeah, yeah. That's good that, babysitters. That's, that's a memory in like, seriously burned into my mind because she was so shocked and I couldn't understand why. She's like a grown woman. Yeah. This big fat thing, you know. Um, <laughs> that's Is all that I remember. Roseanne? No, yeah, she looked like Roseanne. <laughs> Like, no joke. She really looked like Roseanne. And I just remember this look on her face when I'm like, look what I drew. And she's like, <gasps> you know? And yeah. it's like, End why? Why? I don't understand. Because, you know, there's like, when you're that young, you don't understand, like, right. any of that crap. So, you know, it was like, a, anyway, it's a mistake. That, that, yeah, that was my babysitter joke. I mean, story, not a joke. <laughs> this is, you know what sucks is that every time we do this, we drink more and then we just get off topic more. Yeah. But you just reminded me of comics. Yeah. And I was never into comics, but I love manga. And like, I'm manga, just going to... Yeah. Manga, okay. manga, uh, manga, to, manga, To all my non-Japanese okay. speakers. All right. Well, the manga I liked, um, I used to, you know, read that stuff. And it was always a secret. I'd keep my books at home. I'd never bring them to school because I want people to see that shit. Okay. Right. And... Um, I would read a bunch of ma manga, yeah, manga. and uh, manga. I remember my mom, yeah, <laughs> I remember my mom, she, uh, I feel like she wanted to like touch base with me a little bit, so she's like, oh, I see he's into these comics, he's into these, well, my son's into these cartoons, you know, mm -hmm. so she comes back, she went to this store called Boy. Arrowhead, yeah. and I remember this store sold, sold like Christian shit, okay, and she came back with... Pope comics. Literally, <laughs> the Pope. Like John Paul II, Pope comics, right? So I'm like, you gotta be kidding okay, me. Okay, Pope comics. All right. Pope comics. So I'm like, I wanna be polite, but at the same time, I'm like this 13 year old kid. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding Yeah, that's me. the worst time. You're such a judgmental tool when you're that age. Sure. Yeah. And I like expect to open this up and the Pope's like fucking shit up and he's like <laughs> blowing shit up. No, no, no. Pope comics are the worst fucking comics. Why? This is why. I open up to the first page and this is where the key joke is. The fucking coup de gras. And yeah. the first page, you, you think you'd wait till later in the comic. No. Yeah. The Pope is sweeping up a bunch of trash and all the other fucking cardinals or whatever they're called, <laughs> yeah, yeah. they come down and like, oh, look at him sweeping up all that trash. And then he goes, it's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. And everyone like laughs. And I like flipped 50 pages ahead and I was like, this is the worst fucking thing I've ever read in my life. Dude, Pope comic. <laughs> Pope comic. I think, I think that sounds cool. I think you could go somewhere with that, man. Yeah, but they didn't. It'd be like, I'm going to cure this holy, unholy bastion of villains or something. No, sweeping fucking trash and healing lepers and shit. It's gross. Well, I think, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, covering man. up sex scandals. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> like, I don't know. I this think, never happened. Yeah, it's, yeah. The Pope's cloak. <laughs> Pope yeah, cloak like, plus it two never happened. It's like hypnotizing yeah. <laughs> Pope vision. Yeah. It's like <laughs> see through. Silence the media button. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Before we offend anyone, let's continue. I'm sorry. I think Mom. we've gotten way off track. Here. I know that was that's bad. Pope I'm comics sorry. Are, but, but I, I just, those, those war comics are awesome, by the way. You just reminded me of that for some yeah. reason. No, got, like, I don't know what it is about those like, back in the day. I'll check it out. Yeah, I'll check it out. It's all about like courage and overcoming your fears and stuff. Um, uh, Sedushidu. <laughs> Sedushidu. Sedushidu says, What beach, what city, sufficient that if someone else wished to visit, if they could, please? <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Again, again, again. What did he say? What beach, what city sufficient that if someone else wished to, to visit, if they could, please? It's like a rap. Oh, okay. I understand what he's saying. Uh, yeah. He's talking about the beach video I did. Actually, one of my bigger videos recently. I'm really happy you guys liked that one. It took yeah. fucking forever to edit that. Yeah. Um, it looked nice, though. Yeah, thanks. First time you used the GoPro properly. Yeah, it was. Um, actually, that was called Shun Liao. Um, really I, nice place. i got to just say, I, I paid for that GoPro, by the way, out of my own pocket, because we had this bet. About like who could lose the most weight, and he won. Way to fucking embarrass us. No, but I mean it's true it's though. It's true. Yeah, it's true. And he won, Thank so I, I paid for that, and I liked it so much because I have a GoPro Hero too. I liked it so much, I went and bought myself one after that. So it's like <laughs> it worked out for the better. Double whammy though. Fuck that. Yeah, two, I know. I had to buy two GoPro. I apologize, Hero but I lost the most weight. No, you don't know. You, you won a fair and square. No need to apologize. Yeah. There is someone who's teaching English in a mall though that kind of owes me out. But never mind. Let's, let's continue. Continue on. <laughs> Let's go. That's, uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Forget so, anyone yeah. said that. Yeah. There. Um, anyway, that's Shun Liao. It's a peninsula off of Guangdong province between Huizhou and Shenzhen. Uh, really nice place, actually. But much nicer when I first came here. Full of fucking five star resorts now. And yeah. actually. More like three star. That's what I want to bring up is that we both have five star re resort stories. Like Maybe we should go through. Tales from Hell. Go ahead. Okay. Well, it's recently been my birthday, um, 17th of August. So, me and uh, my, my fiance, we went to have a celebration at a five star hotel in Shenzhen, which is at a. Basically, there's, there's one really big public beach. I don't want to get too long winded with this, but there's, there's a public beach that everybody knows. It's called Damesha. Some idiots call it Damesha, but it's actually. Yeah, I've I've actually heard in the hotel on the like the loudspeakers is like welcome to Damesha. It's like no Damesha, which means big, beautiful sand, right? And it's a free public beach. Get this though, Sunday, 8 p.m., 26,000 people still on the beach because they have counters because they have turnstiles. 8 p.m. on a Sunday, 26,000 people on this tiny beach. It's not that big, right? So if you go to the beach, you don't really see sand, you see people, <laughs> you see trash, right. it's disgusting. But that whole area is really nice, there's lots of like seafood restaurants and, sure. and stuff. And there's a really expensive Sheraton, it costs about 2,000 something Hong, uh, sorry, uh, RMB a night. How much is that in, in dollars? 500 bucks. 500 dollars? Okay. Mm -hmm. But then there's one behind it, which is part of the same group, it's called the Kinky Palace. But not <laughs> it's like king as in a you know a king with a crown and right. key as in a key nice. king, king key, key which is jingji which is this big uh, construction company in china right. and palace Romantic. <laughs> so yeah the the king key palace nice. anyway um because it's part of the same group they share a private beach okay right so if you stay at the king key palace which is only a thousand one hundred a night which, which is what like two hundred and sixty yeah. yeah, dollars right you get to still get to go to the private beach. So you don't have to go to that big crowded okay, piece okay. of crap. Beach. That's what you pay for, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, we booked into that one because it's outrageous to pay two, 2000 and I, I just refuse. It's ridiculous, like, especially since you're not getting anything special. Um, so we went to this other place. Rooms, all right. Like, it's okay. Like, I'd give it a... I, my personal ratings, maybe three and a, three and a half stars, maybe yeah. four maximum. But, you know, those little things don't work, you know. Right. You know, right. it's the usual thing. Anyway, so it was overcast. It was drizzling when we arrived. We drove there in my car, and uh, it was overcast, but it wasn't raining or anything. Sure. Um, I went to the room, freshened up and everything, right. and like get the beach towels and stuff. Let's go to the private beach, right? Call reception. Say, um, you know, uh, when is the shuttle bus? Because it's really you can walk there. It's like right. 15 minutes walk, but they got a little shuttle bus which goes Take all the there. time, right? Right. When is the shuttle bus going? They're like. <clears throat> 
Mm, well, first of all, they couldn't understand me in English. I can speak Chinese, but when I go to a five star, yeah, you want it? Yeah, I'm like, I know what you mean. I, I'm like, you know what? You should understand you me. Better. You better. Know? So it's like, I, I wait. Then they say wait, and they put me through to someone else. Went through to like four, four different people. No one understood me. I had to go down to the front desk. And I'm like, okay, when's the shuttle bus? They say, sorry, the beach is closed. I'm like, what do you mean the beach is closed? No, it's raining, so the beach is closed. I'm like, this, this isn't right. Like, how can the beach be closed? So, um, you know, the, the most insulting thing is like, first of all, they say the beach is closed. If you want to go to the beach, go to Damesha, you know, which is that public shit beach. It's like, the reason I'm staying in your expensive hotel is so that I can use your private beach. So, I got my fiance to call the Sheraton, which the beach is actually next to, right? And they're like, no, the beach, the beach is open, you know, if you want to come, you can come, you know. Um, and if you're staying in that hotel, sure, you can come, just get in there a shuttle bus. So we, we confront them and say, listen, what the hell? They say it's open. And they're like, yeah, grumble, grumble, grumble. And then they finally bring the shuttle bus around. And there's a bunch of other people waiting to get on it too. And everyone like rushes on the bus and goes down to the beach. But it's just like that. That kind oh. of grumble. Anyway, your, your, your turn. Because I got more, but I don't want to yeah, have enough plenty. Yeah. Just mine is a fuck you Sheraton actually <laughs> comment. Okay. I went with some friends to the Sheraton actually in that beach video you guys saw. Yeah. Um, had a great time, but the room was shit to be honest. Like it was really nice, like big and everything, but everything didn't work. It was just shit. Sure, room sure. service took ages. It was one of those shit shows, you know. Yeah. And I go down to the beach at night. It's probably nine o'clock at night, and I'm like, I'm gonna go swim in the night, right? They're like, No. You're not going to go swim in the night. That's yeah. not going to happen, right? I'm like, well, I won't use your beach. They're like, no, you can't leave the premises. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I paid all this money yep. to go to a five-star hotel, and you're going to nanny state me right now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I said, you know what? I'm going to call them one more time to see if I get the same deal as I did last time. Well, I called them. So Shun Liao Sheraton, I hope you're watching this shit because fuck you. Mm. I called you and I called your like Brazilian fucking counterpart, whatever, to get the same deal as I got last time because we're good customers and we go often with all our friends. And you put me through to your fucking like secretary or some shit. Right. And I got through to the secretary and he's like, no, I'm going to take this call. I'm going to take this. And he overcharged me above sea trip and kayak.com for the same room. Really? Overcharged me and said, that's the best deal he can do. So I, I'm, I'm not going to talk about that. So I, I did the same thing you did. Mm. I went to the other five star hotel. Yeah. Which should be a one star hotel. It smelled like bile. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I'm like, mom, dad, I shouldn't have fucking bigged it up to be honest. I feel yeah. really guilty about this. Like, mom, dad, I got a five star hotel at the beach. No, nope, cross the street from the beach. You yeah. gotta use the Sheraton Hotel Beach sure. to swim. And we get in there, the doors are all blocked by plants. So what the fuck's going on there, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Number two, the room smells like shit and bile and there's poop on the towels. There was <laughs> shit. The yes. They shit and wipe their ass with a towel and then put it back. That's disgusting. Okay? Yeah, yeah. That's disgusting. Air conditioner didn't work. Yeah. Had to call them for that. Yeah. And uh I ended up sleeping with my father-in-law in the other room, which is really awkward. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Old um, it was like a one-star hotel. The next day, I almost lost my shit because I barely got sleep. And then my parents are down at the buffet. I'm like, five-star hotel. They're going to eat pancakes and waffles. They're going to be comfortable, right? Because yeah. China's fucking them up. Yeah, yeah. Now, there is like fights at the toast style. Everyone stole all the bananas. There's nothing Western on the tables, and I don't expect that, but it's a five-star hotel. No, that, you do expect that, because yeah. five-star hotels do have continental like buffet breakfast. Yeah, they didn't, though. It was Chinese slop full of mm. oil, and everyone stole everything, so there's yeah, no Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Absolutely unbelievable. And not like, I'm not saying anything against Chinese people, but like, if you're going to have a five-star hotel, under foreign management, like sort your shit out. Because yeah, yeah. that was a bit rough. Look, I mean, let's be honest though, buffets in China, just not gonna happen. Just just don't go to them, <laughs> no. you'll be depressed. <laughs> let's let's it. not get into that. Let's... No, China's got wonderful food, right. but, but one thing I'm gonna gonna say to all you guys over there, do a little Google search and find out why <laughs> Pizza <laughs> Hut stopped <laughs> offering a salad bar in China and you will understand. Yes. Like seriously, go look it up. It's <laughs> really, really, really interesting. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, this I don't know why I did this. This guy, you know why I did this question? Why? This guy has asked me this so many fucking times. Krakur, two thousand six. Did Serpent ZA have a divorce? <laughs> he won't leave me alone up until two months ago for the past two years has been asking me this question. Well, I mean it's it's in a lot of my videos I told That's you. That's what this. I thought. Like honestly, Beer Girl and I were separated for a long time, went through a divorce, 
you know, paperwork's still being fi filed out, but it, actually next week it should be finalized. But, you know, we've been legally separated and legally going through the process for a long, 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 long time. And, yeah, it's unfortunate. I've got videos about it. Um, you can just search my channel for something called... Uh, did I call it an announcement and update or something but you know I've mentioned it so many so many times that yeah it just didn't work out it's unfortunate but you know keep you talking so we'd have to drink yeah. you learn and you move on <laughs> and uh, I, I've just got to put out there and um, give some advice to all of you guys that if you do find yourself in a situation where things are not working out and uh, like toxic and just not not good for you don't don't try to stick it out like like, yes, of course, you should try to stick out terrible situations because everybody goes through, like, rough spots. So sure. if you're going through a rough spot in your relationship, stick it out. Don't be a coward. But the kind of situation I was in, it's madness to just try and stick it out because it's something that could never, ever be resolved. So if you end up with someone who's incompatible with you, don't, don't, just don't prolong it. Just get rid, like, get rid of the situation as soon as you can and move on. And you know, both of us have been married or are married. And mm -hmm. actually, I've never had to think about this because I was so young. But mm -hmm. what you're saying makes so much sense. And I feel like, honestly, this is like a serious note. So many people go through fast food relationships and they say, "Ah, oh, this person's not right for me. A divorce law is so easy, whatever." But that's not what we're talking about. No. What we're talking about is someone who's abusive or just completely, yeah. completely wrong for you. And that's yeah. when you bail. Yeah, absolutely. Someone who cannot uh, agree with you on anything yeah. and just doesn't agree with your your whole direction in life sure. and tries to force you to change and force force you to be someone you don't want to be. And then, but living in the moment and saying, "No, nah, this is not going to work. I'm just going to get. I'm just going to find someone else." That's not what we're advocating. No, right? no, 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 for sure. No, absolutely not. So you know, give it. A, I gave it a good shot. Uh, right. I got got married for the wrong reasons, to be honest. Uh, I've always had a problem with choosing the wrong kind of women, people I thought I could fix, and. Uh, I've always, because I'm a very protective kind of a guy, and I, I see someone who I think I can help, you know, and so I try, and you know. That's so why you buy shit bikes. Yeah, that's the same, that's the <laughs> no, same no, freaking is. reason, man. I buy these like turd piece of shit bikes, like, and I try love. my best to fix them up, and you know, <laughs> you never really can. So sometimes it's yeah. just best to buy something like. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I was going to say like Sasha, but I meant like be yeah. with someone like Sasha who's just good from the get-go. Yeah, absolutely. Just go and buy that bike that's been looked after. and that, Find yourself yeah. a Vivi or a Sasha and yeah. sort yourself out. Absolutely. So good, yeah. Good um, yes, divorced. Absolutely. God damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> like number four. Yeah. Let's We're just... so close. We're doing well. This yeah. is an epically long video, but a lot of people love this. Yeah, a lot good. of people love this yeah. stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to do it. I'm, I'm, having, I'm having a good time. Okay, we're better, right? Are we we're better? better. This stuff still okay. sucks balls. Yeah, but we're getting better. Yeah, yeah. let's do yeah. it. Uh -huh. You think it'd burn less? Oh, shit. You'd think it would. I didn't mean to spill. No, I don't fucking care. <laughs> Cheers again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we got a three series question here. I'm gonna go through them real quick. Could you turn down the music volume on these type of videos? All of us want to hear better. Okay, we'll do. Actually, I'm sorry about that. That was actually an old problem I had. Was I had the music a bit too high? For what what video? The ones where I'm talking. So I apologize, and okay. I won't do it again. I, I went through a phase where I was doing background music all the time because it adds something interesting. But mm. you know, it's just like everything else in life. You, you've you've got to understand how it works Agreed. properly. And I was learning back then. Yeah, so it's all a learning thing. process yeah. and now you're better. I, yeah. But with your beach video thing, it was only music and that. Yeah, really and actually I'm well. really, I'm toying with the idea of every other video being something like that because we do so many cool things together mm. and we take these little trips and like a music video kind of embodies the situation better than us. I, black I'm actually going to take um, inspiration from your music video and like with my Indian and Taiwan adventures. Yeah. I'm just going to do music That could be videos. really cool. Because, you know, it's a bit dry, my long-winded, you know, adventure You do, like, videos. Bollywood, like... <laughs> but I'm, I'm definitely going to use that song, you know, the... I've got to use that Which Indian one? song. Oh, that one, yeah, the Indian song. Come on, for sure. it's got to be... You there. must! I will, I will. That's but, you know, the thing is, um, we're, we're doing this, this, this big documentary coming up, right? Yeah. Where it's going to be professionally shot and done really, really well. And that's going to be our proper adventure videos. And the, the kind of stuff that we put on our channels, 
you know? I'd like to do little music videos, to be honest. I think that's, that's really that's good bites. I actually, thanks to you guys, you made me realize that those, I was really worried when I did that, that like no one's gonna watch some little music video, but it's one of my most popular ones, and people actually love those. So, Dude, it came out really well. I, Thank you. I watched it and I was like, that's great. It like, it's like, like seven, eight hours. Yeah. Yeah. But well, so what most videos do, don't they? No, no. Yeah. What I'm saying is that, yeah, I hope they realize that. Okay. But anyway, the point being is that I was worried that that kind of video would be like, oh, because they never watch the adventure stuff. Not as many of you subscribers like the adventure stuff as you like as us talking about how to live in yeah, China yeah, yeah, or something yeah. like that. But you guys actually doubled your efforts and like put the, the love out for that one. I'm really happy about that. And I really look forward to it because it was really fun to make. Yeah. And it was really fun to do. So I, I, I can't wait to do more of those. Sure. Keep it up. All right, next is, okay, um, are you still doing, are you still going to post a video of your Alteza? I have an IS-300. Uh, uh, actually, you know what's funny is I got a bunch of comments from people that, not a bunch, a few comments from people that are like, oh, we watch China because, we watch your videos about China because we want to see China. We don't care about your car if you want to fucking show off or something like that. So actually, that's why I didn't do it. I felt bad. I think, I think be, uh, kind of pointless but at the same time it's up to you like but a lot of people more people came back and said please show us because we want to see the burgeoning car scene in China so I, I figured not to show my car actually it's completely separate to show people that mod cars and I think that would be kind of cool I to think show. that's so that's that's, that's a really good idea so like, you guys uh, helped me out with that one thank yeah, you I, I really really think you should like, yeah show your car it's just something people could do back on obviously will be in the video but I don't yeah. need to make a video about it and I never planned on doing that actually so thank oh, you cool so fuck you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, Pblek1. Pblek. <laughs> Pblek. Mm. Pblek says, was she really upset or was she just acting? And I know what you're talking about when she beat me up at the end of the Chinese swearing video because I oh. said Chuni Magabi or something like that. Yeah. Which and pretty, that was pretty vile. No, no, no but something. I was doing it as a point to show okay. them that. Um, actually, this is a rampant, rampant topic I have to bring up. And I don't know if you have any insight on this. This is more of a personal thing, but... I have an issue with some of my subscribers and I really applaud some of the subscribers that come to back me up here um, because YouTube, honestly, you guys can look at it like